black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Well, well, well. What up, world? Today you get to see me do something you've never seen me do on this channel, and that is eat. Something that has come from the sea. Uh, food has that, that has come from the sea, and uh, they call it seafood. And it is something that I don't really, really ever eat. And uh, we'll talk about it, but uh, tonight we must be halfway between a mukbang and an ASMR because it's late night, and I do have to be mindful of my vocal range so uh, before we do anything of course we are going to pour up and uh, we have the diet cherry pepsi uno momento of silencio for the pour up -o. Very nice. Very, very nice. Fountain of youth. Like a fine beef bourguignon broth. Okay. Delicious. Okay, so before we do anything, stay true. Got the merch, repping for self. The store is open full time, so you could you could technically click the link below and have a look and just see what happens. Okay, let's move on from that. So these just came fresh out of the air fryer. I got some ranch here. Also got some chipotle aiole, which I might throw in the mix at some point here. But I want to get these while they're still stretchy. You know what I mean? Some lots of steak and ranch. Guys, be careful of monster sticks. I've said it once, I'll say it again. They have tried their damnedest to choke me out of existence. Many, many times. Also, I just have to take a quick second here to shout out cocktail sauce. It does not get enough play. In my rotation of condiments and sauces, But it is one of my favorites. I love the horseradish tang. Feels like it would be a polarizing sauce. Seems like you'd hate it or love it. All right, and you guys ready for it? First time you ever see Black Hoodie eat something from the sea on here? No. I know you guys are like, wow, that's a weak seafood attempt. I gotta tell ya, there's a few things from the water that I can handle eating. And a baby miniature shrimp cocktail that you crush at a Christmas party is one of the only things that I can deal with when it comes to seafood. Especially because it's doused in 
delicious cocktail sauce. So at this point, it's just basically a vessel for cocktail sauce and a texture in the mouth. I also will eat tuna fish in mayo based tuna salad form. I will also have a piece of pickerel fresh caught battered and fried in you know some rich crackers or something like that with a nice ta-ta sauce if you will so I was to mask any strange fishy aromas because seafood freaks me out mainly in two ways. The smell is most usually and generally repulsive. It's not the ticket. Don't like it. I'm gonna eat it just like It smells so bad, usually, that I legitimately avoid it, the section at the grocery store. Like, I try my best to not walk by the seafood section. It's that bad. These little shrimps are enjoyable though right now. But the other reason is texture. Seafood meat is a weird texture. And that's why I can only handle these little dudes. Because jumbo shrimps, anything bigger, th with this texture, it's a no-fly zone for me. <sighs> Believe me, as somebody who has a channel like this, I would love to love it because it seems like people in the world are apparently infatuated with seafood. To the point where it's like, it's shocking how well seafood mukbangs do. I'm really curious as to why. Like, I didn't know seafood was that popular in general in the world. What I will say is, in the thumbnails, it does have thumbnail visual appeal in terms of the vibrancy of the color of like a crab or something but uh, I'd love to know the demographic or this that chunk of people 
who are driving the traffic on these seafood videos? Like, what is that demographic? I assume a lot has to do with Asia because Asian people love seafood most usually. And mukbangs are like originated in Korea, I think. So I guess that makes sense. If a lot of Asian people are are watching. Let me tell you this. There is a scary side of mukbang YouTube that are like the true Asian people, like don't speak English and stuff, like that are like deep in the program. If you ever f stumble upon and find yourself over there, they eat some crazy stuff. Things that I could never psychologically get over, like doing. Like I'm talking fear factor level shit for pleasure, like to enjoy it. But hey, different customs, man, to each their own. I've just been raised in the West where, let's be honest, we've been visually marketed to our whole life. Not very exotic foods. So when presented with them, you just can't even comprehend like, you're gonna eat that? You're gonna eat that. That's food to you? That's gonna go in your mouth. <laughs> and you're gonna enjoy it? Mm, I don't know, man. Seems a bit weird, but hey, you do you. If you're about it, have fun. So it is interesting, but it's just a texture, man. It freaks me out. The texture of a shrimp, a shrimp <clears throat> I can't really explain it. It's halfway between like what I would feel like a brain would be like. And then it also kind of reminds me of like crunchy rubber but almost like an orange or like a grapefruit like as soon as you put pressure on it it's like it has this like cellular integrity it's like kind of got this like rubbery crunch to it but as soon as you bite it it just blows apart like you know what I mean it's super strange it's a weird texture Yeah, it almost seems like a like an orange or a grapefruit with a little more resistance, like a little more firmness to it. Strange. Anyways, I'm good on that. That was for somebody who doesn't eat any seafood. That was I've hit my quota. For the month, for well, this for this per annum. Oh, 
quarterly. Let's go with quarterly. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that one. Chill, relaxed, maybe mildly funny. Till the next one, eat good, live well. Stay true.